everyone, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we're going to be covering basically the uh, stuff that was announced at San Diego Comic Con, along with talking about or watching both the I Am Groot trailer and the Wakanda Forever trailer. No, there is a new trailer for She Hulk. We're, we already covered a She Hulk trailer, so I'm not really going to look into that. Um, and then the Guardians trailer hasn't like officially been leaked well enough yet to be able to react. So, yeah. And then same with the Ant-Man Quantumania, uh, which I, I guess had a trailer too, but it was exclusive. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to <coughs> talk about everything that was announced. Um, phase 5? Yeah, Phase 5 um, has been completely announced. All the movies and everything will cover that. Phase four has a bunch of dates, or phase six, sorry, has a bunch of dates and three movies announced. So, let's talk about the uh, end of phase four will be Wakanda Forever or I Am Groot's, whichever one comes out last this year. Um, then after that we get into phase five, which I'm scrolling back to get to make sure I have everything pulled up. I'm using Marvel's Instagram for this. So, Secret Invasion will be spring 2023. It's going to be Sam Jackson, and uh, it's going to deal with the scrolls, which is cool. Next, after that, will be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is going to be hit theaters May 5th, 2023. Um, really cool, again. Then, summer 2023, we're getting Season 2 of Loki. Uh, eventually down the pipeline too, we're getting What If Season 2. That was announced, but they didn't post it on their Instagram for some reason. Uh, Blade will be hitting theaters November 3rd, 2023. Echo will be, um, streaming summer 2023, so probably right after, uh, Secret Invasion will probably be getting Echo. After that, we're going to get Ironheart in fall 2023. Uh, for a TV show, and then Agatha uh, House of Harkness got renamed as now Coven of Chaos, and that'll be in winter of 2023. Um, and there's another show. Now, something that I wanted to kind of talk about really quick is Captain America New World Order, uh, which is going to be Captain America 4. Obviously, it's going to have uh, Sam Wilson being Captain America, so Anthony, Anthony Mackie's going to be uh, reprising his role but um, I do want to make a whole theory video about what I think New World Order is going to be. I just want to make sure I research it before I say it. But it will be releasing May 3rd of 2024. Um, then they showed the She-Hulk stuff, which we're not, like I said, we're not going to cover. But then it was announced, Daredevil's getting his own show. Daredevil Born Again will be releasing... Um, spring of 2024 going to be Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio uh, and it is going to be 18 episodes long and then we're going to be ending phase 4 with Thunderbolts which will be in theaters July 26th 2024 um, so I do want to say I have a feeling that these could shift um, I mean Especially with how COVID kind of messed up Phase 4. I could totally see Phase uh, 5 and Phase 6 might shift some stuff. But then we are told what our first Phase 6 movie will be. Which is Fantastic Four. Which will be in November 8th, 2024. Uh, and then after that we have two Avengers movies that were announced for Phase 5. Being Avengers The King Dynasty... Uh, which is May 2nd, 2025. And November 7th, 2025 will end Phase 6 with Avengers Secret Wars. Um, so again, a lot of announcements here. And we also got a official saga title for Phases 4 through 6, being the Multiverse Saga. Which, I was thinking about that, and it does make sense. Because when you think about Phase 1, there's only one, two... Like two and a half movies that deal with uh, the Infinity Stones in Phase 1. So Phase 4, we only got really, that we know of so far, two movies that dealt with, um, what you call it, 
with the multiverse. So, I mean, maybe phase four, uh, five and six will delve a lot into the multiverse. But uh, yeah, so let's start with the Black Panther Wakanda Forever teaser, it says, but it's a trailer, uh, starting now. No woman, no cry. E little darling, don't shed no tear. No woman, no cry. Good friends we are, and good friends we've lost. Along the way. So dry your teeth, I said. It's kind of reminding me of the Avatar trip. like it's Michael B. Jordan though like I, I like okay I'm gonna try to analyze <laughs> th this body it's hard to tell because it can look feminine but at the same time it can look not which is weird so like I have a feeling it's gonna be Shuri I really do. Like, I feel like Shuri will be taking T'Challa's place and Riri's going to kind of be Shuri in this, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I... That might be Shuri, but I mean, at the same time, it could be uh, Killmonger. But yeah, it, hard to tell. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see this. Um, definitely, definitely excited. Especially to find out who the new Black Panther will be. But uh, yeah, now let's watch the I Am Groot trailer. <laughs> now. So, I mean, it's going to be nice. Something to tide us over before uh, She-Hulk. I'm kind of happy that it's a shorts. I didn't know it was going to be shorts. But now I'm happy because it's like... I don't think like you could do a full show just on Baby Groot. But, uh, yeah. No, it, it looks great. Um, but, yeah. So, San Diego Comic-Con brought up out a lot of stuff. 
I'm happy that I was here to cover it with you guys. So make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you are the most excited for. And make sure you follow me and all my social media in the description down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you, have an amazing day.